what really happens in meditation what is that which happens in meditation hmm? so it close my eye, close your eyes some dreams will come right what happens in meditation <coughs> so meditation requires development of concentration ability to be focus on something for a long duration without getting dragged by the mind the mind will pull you pull your attention so whose attention is that attention is attention of the self attention of self is called awareness awareness has the ability to spread out awareness has the ability to focus awareness has the ability to penetrate the microscopic or macroscopic but the attention of the self gets dragged by the mind okay what is mind is mind reality mind is not reality mind is nothing but a bundle of thoughts thoughts come from memory and what is there in memory a figment of reality did you take breakfast on 27th february yes yes i did what did you take ha <laughs> 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 so some fragment of reality is there in memory and that comes as thought and that we start taking as real when we say we <clears throat> the self sakshi so it gets dragged by the the continuous flow of memory thoughts from memory that's called mind so mind is not reality because thought is temporary it comes and goes and thought source of thought itself is a figment of reality it's not reality no amount of real world is represented in memory all right and whatever you call as real world is it so real the world which you see you sense through eyes ears your five sense organs each of these sense organs are very very restricted have restricted bandwidth ability your eyes can only see some amount your ears can hear only some amount probably bats can hear more than your ears ears can do your nose has very limited ability okay dog can smell more than what, what your nose can do and there is something beyond dog which can smell more than that so what you are doing is the world which is consisting of we don't know what is there out there that we are sensing with a very limited ability this is like seven blind men trying to figure out a elephant okay each person is groping the elephant and trying to find out what it is our eyes are trying to find out what is that ears are finding and in in addition whatever our eyes and ears are recognizing the mind is taking it and till filtering it out then there is intellect which will filter out further so whatever input you are getting atma or sakshi is getting is a completely distorted version of reality and you start living that as reality that's so real for you right so we have seven blind men meditation means keeping these blind men aside and sakshi seeing the reality by itself that's called meditation through awareness you have to recognize what is reality so that is the process called meditation when you are focusing your awareness on an object if the mind doesn't interfere so then the awareness becomes one with the object and that is called samadhi or concentration so the first part of meditation is always <coughs> to develop the ability of samadhi or concentration for a longer duration without samadhi there's no meditation without <coughs> samadhi you will keep on drifting in dream world 
Understand? Samadhi is the process, a basic process for meditation. That's why it's called Dharana Dhyana Samadhi. You need an object to focus on, continuous focusing, then Samadhi means absorption in the object. When you are absorbed in that object, then a reality of that is known. Otherwise, all reality is fed by your seven blind men. Five sense organs, mind and intellect is the reality which gives you. And each of them, they color the reality in their own way. Okay. So, you have to understand the nature of the world and you have to understand the nature of self using your own self. The self is Atma or self is Sakshi. The light of the self is the awareness. Awareness is the I. So now the awareness is the I and this is the third I. Actually people mistake that there is some I sitting inside there. The third I is nothing but awareness. By developing the third I, awareness, you will be able to get a deeper sense of reality by yourself. Understand? For which a Samadhi has to be practiced. Concentration for a longer duration. Otherwise your con concentration is drifting. Because the mind, mind keeps on interfering. Understand? One minute to Sit for meditation. Oh, I saw a beautiful light. The divine being came. From where? From your memory. <laughs> <coughs> memory starts projecting. Okay? I saw that. I saw this. All you saw was your mind coming and interfering in your thought process. In your observation. Keep your mind aside. See the truth yourself through awareness. Development of focus, awareness and samadhi is important for meditation. Okay. Once you develop that, you start observing the reality. Now what is, what is reality for you? The world, you don't bother about it. Because ultimately the world is coming to you through your body. Your body is the interface to the world. Start observing the body. As you start observing the body, the body appears to be nothing but a bundle of sensations. Gradually you realize that body is nothing but not a bundle of sensation, it's nothing but a particles of light, vibration, appearing and disappearing. The body has no solidity, no reality. So then your sense of I am the body will have no meaning. So now I am not the body is not an understanding, that's intellectual understanding. Intellect is nothing but another blind man. So I am not the body is a direct experience of the self by through process of awareness. Then you turn inwards. So this process I stay in, tell in three stages. First stage is Jiva Bhava. That means I am the individual soul. In Jiva Bhava, you say I am the body, I am the mind, I am the intellect, I am so and so, I am so and so. This is called Jiva Bhava. <coughs> which is normal life. Or abnormal life, I don't know. Okay. So then Jiva Bhava, you try to become Atma Bhava. You become, try to become self. Atma Bhava is called Sakshi Bhava. You start witnessing without getting involved. Right? Without getting dragged by the mind and body. Mind. That's called Sakshi Bhava or Atma Bhava. What is the nature, what is the nature of Jiva Bhava? I am limited. I am so and so. Alright? I am suffering. Sakshi Bhava is witness. I am not affected by anything. I am just pure witness. There is a pain. I will watch the pain. There is sorrow. I will watch the sorrow. That is called Sakshi Bhava. From Jiva Bhava, you have to move to Atma Bhava or Sakshi Bhava. <coughs> right? From Sakshi Bhava, is it the end? Sakshi is there and Sakshim is there. Observed is there. What is observed? You observe the body. 
so then body becomes appears to be very very fine particles and unreal okay so now you from sakshi bhava you start moving into brahma bhava or shiva bhava brahma means the all pervading reality the totality of existence existence pervades everything okay existence is consciousness and bliss so you start entering into brahma bhava from jiva bhava to atma bhava to brahma bhava in brahma bhava there is no seer and seen the seer and seen has collapsed because all pervading reality has no separation that is total silence not in the form of absence of sound the sound and silence both disappear there okay that alone is reality that is brahman that is what you have to achieve that's called brahmi sthiti and one who achieves that brahmi sthiti is becomes a brahmadnani or a realized person or enlightened person of course he may not stay there he may have to come back depending on your karmic pull of karmic impressions as the karmic impressions get exhausted more and more he stays there in that state that is a state where there is no other advaita non duality no other there is nothing to be seen nor to be heard the shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandha the sound the touch feeling smell form everything disappears there only the knowledge or awareness remains there and from that only all things have come so you go to the source of life source of existence called god that's called brahma any questions jiva bhava to sakshi bhava or atma bhava atma bhava to brahma bhava when i say bhava is not a feeling bhava is a state too heavy any questions please sir